So I have my box here with atoms in species A and species B and uh, this imaginary surface in the center. Now, I could calculate the, the rate of diffusion of species A in the direction uh, to the right-hand side of the box um, from a higher concentration to a lower concentration and I could do that using fixed law of diffusion. Another way that I could do it is if I have certain information I don't actually need to resort to fixed law. So if we calculate for example the, uh, the, the molar flux J of species A in the uh, direction uh, in, the, in the z direction, so it doesn't really matter, but we'll call this the z direction. So this is the flux through this, this blue surface here of species A, and if we know the molar concentration of A in the system and the velocity, the average velocity of, of the species A in the system in the direction of, of z here along this axis, then we can determine what the uh, flux of A is uh, in that direction. And the units are perhaps obvious, but I will just state them. So this is kilomole per uh, square meter per second, passing through this blue area here, um, at least in our example, in our illustration. Um, and then this is the, the molar density, this is kilomole per cubic meter. And here we have the velocity of species A in meters per second. So the velocity of species A is, is simply the, the average velocity of all the atoms of species A um, in, in the direction, in this case, in, in the z direction. And then this uh, molar density, this is the, the molar density of species A in the entire system, in the entire box. So, for example, if, if all of the atoms of species A were on the left, then the velocity, the, the, the velocity of species A would be relatively high um, in, the, in the z direction. Um, but if these atoms of species A were evenly distributed, then this velocity would be zero, and so then this flux um, Ja would also be zero. The molar concentration in both cases, wherever the atoms of species A are, doesn't change. This is the system molar density for species A. So the change in the flux then is primarily decided by the change in the average velocity of the atoms. Now we could do the same for species B. So the molar flux of species B is equal to the, the molar concentration of species B multiplied by the velocity of species B. Now given this information, we can calculate the average velocity of the system as a whole. So this average velocity, which I'm going to denote um, by uh, V here, so I, I just want to make clear, this is a capital V, big V, big V. We're using capital letters because we're working in terms of um, mole fraction or in terms of uh, molar density, right? So this is this net system velocity, the total velocity of the system is going to be, um, well, it's going to be the, the velocity of uh, species A weighted by the density of species A plus the velocity of species B weighted by the, the density of species B and then um, divided by the, the sum of the molar densities. So th this is just averaging, taking a weighted average of each species depending on how much of each species you have in the system. This is this is very standard um, uh, method of, of averaging. Now I'm going to Im impose a condition on the system to say that we have a stationary medium. So let's write this here. We have a stationary 
medium and what this stationary medium means is that the net velocity of the system is zero so this net velocity is equal to zero now if that's the case well then what we're left with is BACA plus the velocity oops I forgot my yeah BACA plus BBCB is equal to zero and we know of course that um, the, this VACA is simply um, the uh, molar flux of species A and VBCB is the molar flux of species B. This is equal to zero. So this brings to the brings us to the, the point of this, this little exercise. If I speak more generically, or if, if we sum over all the species, the, the flux of over all the species, um, species I, um, Ji, then the, the total the total flux for a stationary medium is zero. So this the total the total flux summing the total flux gives um, sums to zero for a stationary medium. And by stationary medium I mean that this velocity, the total velocity of the system is equal to zero.